Hey guys, today we are in the 80s with Vintage Bird and I really wanted to share this one. It's from September 1984 because I actually really like some of the patterns in here and I've made a note that I want to make something before spring. So I thought that this would be a good one to share with you. Okay, so right off the bat, you've got very strong 80s vibes, clearly, <laughs> which I absolutely love because one of the things that I'm finding about the vintage sewing uh, magazines is that I am getting a really good look at how people used to dress in those days. Because if you watch movies or TV shows that are set in the 80s, they seem to have a highly exaggerated view of what the 80s were like. So it's been quite fascinating to see a more um, realistic uh, look into what people were actually wearing and that people weren't necessarily always wearing those huge power um, shoulders and they didn't necessarily always have a mullet on them so yeah so quite quite some good ones how amazing is this jacket i love this bomber jacket and just look at all of the tailoring details you've got a triangular little piece of leather here that's been sewn on and it's raglan sleeves absolutely epic epic jacket is that and i quite like the way that they've used this um it's a really boring fabric as far as i'm concerned but they've just used it up, you know, and it looks quite edgy. Okay, and then you've got some lovely coats here. Very elegantly made. I like how you've got the welt pocket coming off of the side seam. That would take a lot of skill, in my opinion. And you've got some more lovely outfits. They're quite voluminous. That's the other sense that I get from the 80s styles. Like, there's a lot of volume. There's a lot of fabric going into um these designs and you've got uh this is an interesting one you've got a herringbone stripe going down but just in the first few pages you've got at least like six seven different type jacket patterns which is really cool i quite like this blouse it's got a three-quarter length placket so i think that these plackets are really funny because it's kind of like it can't make up its mind whether it wants to be a shirt or a top and so it's like we'll just go somewhere in between so pretty cool and then you've got another one which is it's like an oversized biker jacket this is what i thought of it as and then you've got this is what i associate the 80s with i just remember my mom wearing these uh, blousy tops and i call them blousy because they just had like so much volume in the sleeve but i quite like this um design it doesn't have a collar and yeah i'll show you the line drawing when i come to it love that absolutely love that it's got epaulets and it's got a stand collar and then it's got a little tab going across with the covered button placket i want to make this i was just like oh this would be so awesome in um say like a robert kaufman essex uh yarn linen yeah essex linen that would be so perfect for uh, for summer <laughs> so i thought that that was really cool i really really liked that hang on let me just um i always like to use my little post-its to mark the ones that i like okay i thought that this skirt was quite nice with the deep world pockets as well it's fantastic i like my deep world pockets um and you got some ads and i quite liked the styling here i was like this is something that i would so wear in 2020 you've got your big roll neck jumper and then you've got a pullover vest and you could do this in ponty fab <laughs> and this is so cute this has got like vibes of a japanese uh, style so you've got the culottes and then you've got an oversized sweater you could totally wear that now you know totally wear that now love that dress not going to try and make it but i absolutely love it i thought that that was really um pow pow out there okay so this is more of i think your dynasty style i'm just looking at this and i'm thinking of alexis carrington from dynasty um but it's quite interesting because you've got a sort of like a, a band that goes over here and then it's got pockets but then you've also got this collar uh yeah pretty cool a nice jacket there nice jacket dress and then you've got uh, i feel like i saw something quite similar recently to this it's a it's like a dress it's almost like it's double breasted and then you have a little collar picking out 
nice so these ones are in 46 and 50 and then they've got what um i think that this was called miss b it's something to do with the teenage size the younger sizes like that see it's got a little button there so that you can button this up if you want to or you can um, have it open and you could create a feature of it by using a contrasting fabric over here and it looks like it's got dolman sleeves and the tutorial on how to do it's got an elasticated waist that gets my vote i love my elasticated waist and you've got skirts over here and then these are so nice these aren't actually patterns in there's an advert for wool but they're really nice and then you get some knitting patterns as well because Berta covered you with everything in the books more knitting patterns oh so retro <laughs> love it and some more knitting patterns some more knitting patterns maybe it's because it was a september issue and here in the west around september you're sort of expecting to go into winter yeah and i think that there used to be a special pattern that you could order for because there's like a little order thingy here and you could get the pattern for this lovely looking um, jacket as well as for this futuristic looking jacket i mean this was made in 1984 but i still think it looks futuristic even now and then you've got some kids winter sewing patterns if you go skiing and some more knitting oh how adorable are these color combinations so cute um so there's quite a lot of kids stuff in this issue right and oh wow yeah some more ads for something that will be upcoming you've got Breda international and then most of the rest of the stuff it has to do with homeware and look you could even learn how to make a kite make a kite Okay, and then we have a Miss B. This is what I wanted to get to. So they used to do a separate magazine called Miss B as well, because I've got a couple of them. And they seemed to focus on young, just teenage, just past the teenager, young 20s, very early 20s. So it's supposed to be quite edgy. Um, yeah, so I thought that was quite interesting. And this is a really funky looking jacket, which has got these uh, gun flaps but they're not going into the sleeve because usually on a Mac, when you've got these gun flaps, they're sewn into the um, armhole, but this time they aren't and they're just sort of like floating over. It's almost like a nun's habit, but it's a size 34. It's a size 34. And then this one's a size 38, another epic looking jacket over there. And then another epic looking jacket. So this issue has got like some really fantastic absolutely fantastic jacket and coat patterns which i do want to try and sew one day what a great outfit what a great outfit and then you've got like this uh this uh, jumpsuit this is a really cool looking jumpsuit i think there's a picture of her standing and there's your horoscope as well not only could you find out about your sewing you could also find out about your horoscope I thought that this was really quite cool. These were the original sewing bloggers or socialists, I think, because they'd send in their pictures um, to Berda, and then Berda would publish them in the magazine. I can imagine what an honor that would have been during the era of print issues. But you also get to see an idea of, you know, what other seamstresses were doing in that time. That's quite fab absolutely fab i mean i'm really enjoying dipping my toes into history and then you've got mille here i like mille my entire kitchen is mille appliances um yeah and they've got brown as well and there's an issue on makeup section on makeup on how to do your makeup if you wanted to make yourself look very 1980s so that is what we have with the 1984 um, issue. Some lovely designs, I think, definitely banging coat designs. And, um, you know, as I mentioned, I would really, really love to make this blouse, make it in a nice linen. This would be so much fun to wear. 
in my opinion. Hey, let me oh no, oh, it's not in my size. Huh? I might have to grade it down. Ha! Huh. Never mind. There's other stuff that I can make. Anyway, hope that you enjoyed that post. You found it informative and entertaining, perhaps even a little bit useful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up down below. If you haven't, do subscribe for new sewing related content every week. And until I see you next time, happy sewing. Bye.